sixth grade module three lesson 11 problem set for each of the following two quantities in problems four one through four which one has the greater magnitude use absolute value to defend your answers so thirty nine dollars and fifty two dollars or sorry thirty three dollars so the absolute value of thirty three would be equal to thirty three the absolute value of negative fifty two would be equal to 52. So the one that has the greatest magnitude would be negative $52. Negative 14 feet and 23 feet. So the absolute value of negative 14 is equal to 14. The absolute value of 23 is equal to 23. So the one with the greatest magnitude is 23 feet negative 24 and 6 tenths pounds. The absolute value of that is 24 and 6 tenths. And absolute value of negative 24 and 58 hundredths pounds would be equal to 24 and 58 hundredths pounds. So which is larger? I'm gonna put a zero there to make it easier to compare. Well, 24 and 60 hundredths pounds would be further from zero than 24 and 58 hundredths. And then negative 11 and 1 fourth, the absolute value of that would be 11 and 1 fourth. And the absolute value of 11 degrees would be equal to 11. So which is further from zero? Negative 11 and 1 fourth. So next we have for problems five through seven, answer true or false. If false, explain why. Number five, the absolute value of a negative number will always be a positive number. So for example, the absolute value of negative one, it's always one. So whatever, because we're always counting the distance from zero. So this is true. If you want another example, the absolute value of negative 72 would be 72. Number six, the absolute value of any number will always be a positive number. So absolute value of any number is always positive. Well, this is true in almost every single case except for zero, because zero, not for zero, because the absolute value of zero is equal to zero, and zero is not a positive number. It's not negative either. It's in its own category. Number seven, positive numbers will always have a higher absolute value than negative numbers. So this is also false because a number and its opposite always have the same absolute value. So for example, if we wanted to find the absolute value of four, that's equal to four, the absolute value of negative four is equal to four. So a number and its opposite always have the same absolute value, so one's not gonna be higher. The positive numbers aren't gonna be higher than the negative numbers, they're all the same. Eight, write a word problem whose solution is 20 is equal to $20. So maybe, um, let's see, I'm gonna have to write small. Jane deposited $20 in her bank account what was the change in dollar amount in her account. So that's saying she deposited $20, so it's positive 20. And we want to know the change in account. So the absolute value of $20 would be equal to 20. So the change 
would be equal to $20 change in her account. Write a word problem whose solution is negative 70. The absolute value is the absolute value of negative 70 is 70. Okay, so something we're losing money, maybe someone lost weight. Let's say Tom lost 70 pounds. What was the change in Tom's weight? So we'd be finding the absolute value of, she, he lost 70, so the absolute value of negative 70 is 70, so he lost 70 pounds. Number 10, look at the bank account transactions listed below and determine which has the greatest impact on the account balance. Explain. So a withdrawal of $60, so withdrawal means you're taking it out, so negative $60, absolute value of that would be 60 deposit of $50, so there you're depositing, putting money in, positive $50, the absolute value of that is 55, withdrawal of 58.50, so negative 58.50, the absolute value of that is 58.50, and we want to know, determine which one has the greatest impact, so let's just order them from greatest to least, so the greatest is 60. 60 is greater than, next would be $58.58, which is greater than $55. So, so $60, or let's be more specific. So, a withdrawal of $60 had the greatest impact.